So this is brand new software, My Showcase by Spin Touch. It's a vertical category software. It allows you to create a hierarchy for different products, services, um, by using pictures, images, videos, text. You can even put in QR codes. Right now you can see it's rotating through the content by, by itself. So you have this vertical category right here, <clears throat> which has your different categories. So I created a few different categories. Um, actually, main one main category that I populated with content, which was the uh, floor supplies. But as you can see right here, you could input any logo you want for your company. Um, as each uh, tile changes in the category, its respective background also changes as well too. So you could see that as it goes on to floor supplies, you have a picture of flooring. When it goes back to paint supplies, paint supplies comes up. And at this point, this is all interactive. So you could kind of click through and scroll through different content here. So when you click on floor supplies, that curtain opens up. And that effect's really important right there. There's a, a curtain bouncing effect that we have there, which eliminates the need to put any kind of button sets that say like return home. That's a pretty old school way of uh, you know working and designing the user interface. And um, yeah, so you could go back and forth in between your categories and your subcategories by clicking on the curtain. Um, and then your images pop up in the respective category. So for this is floor supplies and the first subcategory that pops up is a Bruce floors. If you don't touch anything for a few seconds, they start rotating to the different categories themselves. So here we've created uh, Bruce floors, Shaw floors, Mohawk floors. For now, we'll take a look at the Bruce floors. I put the icon um, or their logo on the top left corner of one of the photos. And this image that comes up, if you double tap it, or if you pinch and zoom it, it will come full screen, tap it again, and then those tiles on the bottom go away. Those are your other photos in this subcategory. You also have the option of clicking on the arrow arrows to scroll through. If you tap it one more time, you'll have text that comes up. So that's all um, inline text that you can edit on the back end. You can put whatever kind of title and caption, um, a couple hundred characters there so you could uh, describe your content a little better. And then you could swipe across the different photos. You could also quickly access other photos by clicking on thumbnails. So that'll let you kind of quickly zoom through. So you could put whatever kind of photos, PNG, JPEGs you want to in there to kind of talk about your products and your services and take advantage of the full screen features and uh, scroll through your content. To get out of that, you would just double tap or you would uh, pinch in on it, get you back to the 70% view of the photo and you click in the shaded area, and that takes you to the rest of the uh, subcategory for Bruce Floors. And when you have more content, I only put about seven photos in here. If you had more content, you would just keep on scrolling up to access other photos. Um, but like going back to what I said is that you're able to actually now, uh, without interacting with it, if someone walks away and they're on this part of the presentation right here, it will start rotating through some of the different flooring manufacturers that you have. Uh, and after a certain period of time, it will actually go back to the home screen. And all of that is adjustable through the content management system, which we'll get to in a quick second here. Um, so I also populated the Shaw Floors category two, so you would just scroll up there. Another feature worth mentioning is that the background image uh, you see is blurred, is automatically blurred. blurred. It's the same image that's right here. So it's kind of like your microscope view of what's going on um, with the floor supplies. Here we had Shaw Floors, so I put their logo in the top left corner photo. You could scroll through different content that they have. You could even put promos that you guys are having up here in the form of uh, PNG or JPEG. Kind of tell your customers what you're offering. Zoom in and out on that. Get back to your subcategory. And now we could go back to the home screen, uh, our layer one for the categories. And now uh, we're going to press Control A and it's going to allow us to get to our content management system. This is how you're going to see how easy it is to actually update the content and manage it. So all I did here is I uploaded uh, the tile and the background photos on that first layer that you saw for the categories. Um, I put the appropriate title. I put all the titles as CNR um, for you guys' building supply company. Um, and then the respective uh, categories and a little description. So I put floor supplies, choose the right floor. Um, and as you can see in the presentation, that comes up right here. If we go to launch it, um, CNR floor supplies, choose the right floor. So go back to the content management system. You create all your categories there. You can upload as many categories as you want. You have the ability to manipulate and affect different color schemes on it. Um, if you wanted to go into one of the subcategories that we created for the floors, here's the different ones, Bruce Floors, Shaw Floors, Mohawk. 
and you wanted to actually look into some of the content that you were creating there, uh, you click on media and then this is where you can upload your individual photos. You can assign the photos for what you want as your cover photo. You could um, change the order of them really easy with up and down arrows and add all of your title and description. And lastly but not least, this is the feature I was talking about where you're able to go back uh, without interacting with it. The uh, presentation will start kind of rotating and scrolling through different content on its own. And after a certain point, it'll actually go back to the home screen. Um, so people uh, aren't leaving a presentation on an image, walking away from it, and that's stuck up there all day. So that's a really powerful feature that we built into this. That allows people to realize that everything on the screen is interactive. Um, we don't want them to think it's static signage. If you have a PowerPoint up there, it doesn't have the ability to do this or any other kind of application. Uh, it'll just get stuck on a screen, kind of, and people will walk away from it, not realizing that it actually was an interactive application. And that is my uh, showcase by Spintesh.